Hello, class. Today we're going to be looking at Chapter One, Lesson One: The First Hunter Gatherers. Let's take a look here at the text. It starts out by saying the first humans to settle the Western Hemisphere were probably hunter gatherers from Asia. These early humans lived by gathering wild plants and hunting animals. Many scientists today believe they reached North America by crossing a land bridge. From Asia that formed when sea levels dropped during the last ice age, for thousands of years, this land bridge, which scientists call Beringia, linked what is now Siberia to Alaska. Herds of ice age animals crossed Beringia. The early humans hunted these animals, which included elephant-like woolly mammoths and mastodons. An ice age mastodon was nearly as large as a modern elephant. It had short, powerful legs and long, sharp tusks. Its tough hide was covered with long, reddish brown hair. To hunt such a dangerous animal, early humans would have needed effective weapons and teamwork. Because teamwork makes the dream work, right? Okay, let's take a look at these pages again here. First of all. Let's talk about Beringia, or this land bridge that connected Asia to North America. So we are right here in Southern California, where that blue dot is in Hemet. If we zoom out, you'll be able to see all of North America here. And if we move up here, you'll see Alaska right here. Now, right next to Alaska is Asia. Let me zoom out here. So there's Russia, there's China, Mongolia, all a part of Asia. And if we zoom in here, so here's Alaska again. You can see there's a little gap right here between Asia and Alaska or North America. And what scientists believe is that during the last ice age, so much water was taken out of the ocean. And was frozen in glaciers that the ocean levels lowered, or were lower than they are now, leaving open land between these two points between Asia and North America. So, early native peoples were able to cross that land bridge, come into Alaska, and then make their way down into North America, through North America, Central America, and even down into South America. But the key part to remember is that. So much seawater had frozen into glaciers that the levels of the ocean dropped and exposed that sea floor, creating a land bridge where people could just walk straight across. They didn't make the bridge; they didn't build anything. It was just the sea levels dropped because of the ice age, and they were able to cross. Now, let's take a look at this picture right here. These obviously are not pictures of mastodons.、Uh, the woolly mammoth was extinct long before cameras were made. But they're what artists believe that these mastodons looked like, and as you can see, they're huge. And this is what these hunter-gatherers would do: they would follow these animals, these herds, and hunt them. And that's what they would use for food and other resources, such as their hides for fur, for clothing, and things. So they followed them down into North America. So what happened was, when these herds would migrate, they would follow them, and scientists believe that's how these Natives and Native Americans originally came to America through Asia, following these herds. And you got to think about it: Would you yourself follow herds of animals into an unknown area? I think I might. If it was, if it meant eating or not eating, I probably would follow these giant creatures because that was my food supply. Even though I didn't know where I was going, I knew I needed to eat, and I'd follow those animals. Now, up here at the top of the page, we have a timeline. And timelines simply tell people when things happened in order. So, first in 9,000 BC, Clovis people hunt ice age animals. Then we got a lot of space here, and we jump to 1,200 BC, where the Olmec civilization begins in Mexico. We're going to talk about them in a couple of lessons. The Hohokam settle in a, in the American Southwest in AD two hundred. AD seven hundred, Mississippian people first occupy Cahokia, and in AD nine hundred, the Mayan civilization declines in Central America and Mexico. One thing I want you guys to notice here is that we go from nine thousand 
and then the numbers are going down here to AD1, and then they start going up again. What happens is, is that in AD1, that's when we started counting up. For, uh, there's a lot of reasons for this, but basically what we need to know is that before AD, the year one, we go backwards in time. So it goes to 9,000, then it counts up to AD 1. So 9,000 would be a long time ago, 2,000 not as long ago, and then we get to AD 1, and then we count up. So then we go to 900, and you know now we're on the 2,000s, and so on. So we start counting up at AD 1. So that's why it looks a little weird. We're going from 9,000 to 1,200 to 200 to 700 to 900. That's what's going on here. So anything with a BC means we're counting backwards. Anything with an AD means we're counting forward. All right, we're going to stop here on this page. If you have any questions, make sure to ask. Go back and rewatch the video if you need to, to reread this section here or reread it in the book on your own.